Gion and Garage Therapy, two of my favorite detailing brands, but why? Is it a case of better and best? Or is it just a perfect detailing combination? Find out right here, right now. Hello and welcome back to The Golf Diaries. My name is Mark and if you're into anything VW and detailing related then hopefully you've come to the right place. So today we're talking about Gion and Garage Therapy, two well-known and very respected brands in the detailing scene. And they have a lot in common. I mean, yeah, they both start with the letter G and yes, they're both available from Clean and Shiny. Slick, eh? Uh, link in the description down below. Golf Diary 5 gets you a nice little discount. Um, but more importantly, they are uh, both offer a range of ceramics, waxes, cleaners um, that really help you look after your car exceptionally well. And they're a joy to use, it is fair to say. So is it a case of better and best? Spoiler alert, no. Um, I have found that they complement each other very, very well. And during the course of this video, I'm going to explain how I use them on my cars, both the dailies and on the show cars, uh, and break down the strengths and what I value about each range, uh, each product within each range, I should say, and how perhaps they could work for you, uh, depending on your exact requirements for a detailing product. Does that all make sense? I don't know, uh, but uh, we'll give it a go. So stay tuned and I'll break it all down right now. So as a detailing hobbyist and as someone who likes doing this and, and testing products for you, um, I do test a lot of products and yet it's Gion and Garage Therapy I seem to keep going back to for use on my own cars when the camera isn't running. Uh, so why is that? Well, first of all, let's break down the products that I use uh, and then I'll go into some products that I use a lot and actually complement each other from each range in a bit more detail. But as a little bit of background, from the Gion range, I use uh, their Prep. I think their Prep is an exceptionally good um, panel wipe and it kind of smells nice as well, which is always a bonus, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I do like it as a panel wipe. Um, I use their leather kit. Now, it may well be that actually next time I need some, some leather product, I might try something like Geist, which is a, a new brand that's, that's really kind of grabbing my attention. Uh, but certainly, yes, you know, the Gion leather kit does a really good job. Uh, I'll also use wet coat, big fan of wet coat. Now, before I go any further, Little disclaimer here, with wet coat, uh, I am actually testing alternatives for this coming winter. I only tend to use spray sealants in, in the winter because of their ease of application. Um, and as good as wet coat is, and it's a great, great product, and I still think it's probably the best um, looking spray sealant uh, and the best with the, with the best water behavior on the market that I've tried so far. But I am looking at alternatives just because Gion wet coat has become very expensive. I think four liters is now 72 pounds. Yes, that will last you a long time, but uh, I'm currently testing Autoglans Aquaseal, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail here because that's not what this video is about. Another video will follow, but that's half the price and you get more for that half a price uh, in terms of amount of, of liquid. So that's one to uh, revisit. But at the moment, I use Gion Wet Coat and rate it very highly. I have also used Pure Evo as a ceramic. Uh, so yeah, pretty much everything in the Gion range does impress. Garage Therapy, I've kind of covered a lot of their products that I use on the channel already, so I won't repeat myself. But in a nutshell, it is the shampoo, the snow foam, the, the interior cleaner, the wheel shampoo, the tire serum, um, you know, pretty much their entire range. I think the only products I haven't tried so far are the leather kit, as I just mentioned, and their prep and water spot removers, as well as some of their ceramics. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of products there that I have used from the Garage Therapy range. So as with any comparison of two ranges, uh, there's always gonna be some products that overlap, and that's, that's certainly the case here. And uh, is it a case where the products overlap, like quick detailers and so on, that one's better than the other? Well, yes and no. I guess it depends on your usage scenario, and this is hopefully where you hopefully will find the most benefit from this video, in that I'm now gonna break down three products from each range which on paper overlap in a big way, but actually I found I've got very different personalities and very different uses. Um, now some of these uses may be of use to you, some may not, uh, but hopefully it will just help you decide which one is gonna be better for your personal circumstances. The first products that uh, overlap and I'd like to just compare for you are their quick detailers. So you've got the Gion quick detailer and the Garage Therapy quick detailer. So why do I use both? Isn't that a little bit uh, OTT? Do you really need two? Well, of course, no, you don't really need two. But what I've found is that actually these two have got very different personalities and very different strengths. So starting with 
this. Uh, I've talked about Garage Therapy's Quick Detailer many times on the channel, but it is very much my go-to Quick Detailer. You can use it for pretty much everything. It's got a good cleaning ability. It's got a decent level of gloss. You can use it on all different surfaces. It's just a really, really good Quick Detailer. Uh, it's also very easy to apply. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing to, to dislike. It's also very good value. So for me, it has become my go-to quick detailer. It's the one that I use on my daily driver. It's the one I use on, on, on all the cars. Um, so yeah, you can't really go wrong. If you only you want one, then that might be the one for you. However, where does the Gion quick detailer come into this? Well, for me, the Gion quick detailer's party trick is it's insanely glossy. I mean, it really does add a nice level of gloss to your paintwork. So for the show cars, it's absolutely perfect. It is ridiculously simple and quick to apply. Uh, so if you are in a bit of a rush at a show, which if you're unplanned like me or, or unprepared like me half the time, you normally are. The judge is on his way up the row and he, your car's next and he's still not finished. Uh, you can quickly put a bit of gloss on there really, really easily and quickly. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really do anything amazing. It's, it's not really the best cleaner. Um, it does have some cleaning ability for sure. You can use it as a drying aid. It will do all the things you want a quick detailer to do. It'll leave a little bit of protection behind, but it's party trick, it's strength is, is gloss. So for me, Given the cost of it, it is definitely more a show quick detailer. You can, of course, use it on your, your daily driver. Um, but I just feel that for a daily driver that you are going to be washing on a regular basis, the Garage Therapy just offers better value for money. Um, certainly when you buy it in bulk, uh, it's not expensive at all when you buy it in bulk. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that explains the differences between the two. Uh, so for show cars and for garage queens, I will always go to, to the Gion um, and for everything I will use the garage therapy. Now, proviso. There is a little interloper here because a small brand that you may or may not heard of uh, called the Detail Kitchen uh, do a quick detailer called Concourse Cocktail. And I have to say, in early testing, it's actually glossier than the Gion one. Um, so there will be a, a video that follows about that and I'll decide then which one's gonna be my show detailer. Cause that's what I do here is I try to bring you um, product content and then it just helps me um, improve my detailing arsenal. Uh, some things will be kept, some things will go in the bin, some things will never see the light of day again. Detail Kitchen, Concour Cocktail, Quick Detailer. First impressions are really, really strong. The second product, that overlaps in each range is the Gion Ceramic Detailer and Garage Therapy Sigma. So, what are the differences? How do I use them? And which do, I, which do you feel may be better for you? Well, let me explain. First of all, the Gion Ceramic Detailer. Uh, its strengths, very easy to apply. It is literally spray on, wipe off. It's as easy as it comes. Um, it offers a nice level of gloss, not quite as glossy to my eyes as their normal quick detailer, but still very glossy. It's got good water behavior, it's quite slick. Um, it lasts three, four weeks, uh, depending on weather and, and how you use your car. Um, so yeah, a good product. I tend to use that on my daily driver just because it is so simple. It's quick to put on at the uh, end of a wash. Um, and you know, I'm going to wash my daily driver every few weeks. So just topping up every few weeks is, is not a problem. So I tend to use it uh, for that. Um, now Sigma, I do also use for my daily driver. Uh, as those of you who watch the Garage Therapy Caddy video, I'll put a link down below. Um, I use Sigma exclusively on the Caddy for two years um, and that's out in all weathers. So you can of course use it as a daily driver on your daily driver. However, for me, where Sigma really shines, pardon the pun, is its shine. It is its gloss. It, I, it adds a lot of gloss and a little bit of warmth as well to the paint, which it's, uh, as an old school Carnuba wax fan, anything that's gonna add a bit of warmth is definitely a plus for me. Um, it's very slick. The water behavior is pretty good as well. Um, it's a little bit more involved and, and, and it's, it's marginal in that, uh, in, in, in application because you basically put some down onto the paintwork, level it out, leave it for 30 seconds or so, depending on weather uh, conditions, and then wipe it off. So it's really no biggie. Um, but yeah, certainly uh, 
if you are rushing a, a maintenance wash, it's just a little bit more time consuming, but, but it's not major by any means. Um, so I use Sigma very much uh, as obviously on the Caddy, but also on my, my two garage queens on the show cars. I think the look it gives just adds to whatever base sealant you've got on there, because Sigma you can use over wax and sealant. Um, so it, it just adds a lot to the finish, which is what you want in, in your garage, garage queen. Um, that's how, how I use it. Um, but yeah, I, I think the two complement each other really, really well. So the third comparison to be made across the Garage Therapy and Gion ranges is Cancote and 3CS. Now it's not a particularly fair comparison this one because they are slightly different products um, and I will explain in a second what I mean by that. But I think when people look at the two ranges side by side, these are probably the two products that they think compete head to head. Um, and I can see where people think that, but I don't agree. Let me explain. So starting with Cancoat, it's a good product. It's a really good product. So the strengths of this product that I found using it on a daily driver, durability. Uh, Gion claim about 12 months. Um, I've never quite seen 12 months, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, it's more kind of nine, 10 months, and it really starts to drop off at that point in, in my experience. But again, that will depend at uh, how um, you use your vehicle, how many miles, what weather it's out in and so on. But either way, still a really durable product for something that's so easy to, to put on. Um, it's got good hydrophobics. Uh, it looks good. It does definitely add a little bit of zing to the paint. Um, it's very easy to apply. I don't have an application video for this one, I'm afraid, just because I don't have a car that needs can coat putting on right now, but as soon as I do, I will definitely bring it to the channel. Uh, but it is very, very easy to, to apply. Um, the downsides are that it does, it does tend to go off. Um, obviously, what this one's not yet opened, uh, so this is, is still working quite nicely, if you can hear that. Um, but what does happen, of course, when you do open it, just like any ceramic, it will start to crystallize and it does have a shelf life. Um, and that little bottle will do a lot of cars, so there is gonna be a bit of wastage there, and it's expensive. Um, compared to some of the other products on the market, can coats, I find, quite expensive. Now, 3CS, on the other hand, um, the strength of that is it's just as can coat, it's extremely easy to, uh, to apply. I'd say it's easier to apply, frankly. Um, it, it really is a case of just wipe on, um, level it out, uh, let it settle for, for kind of 30, 60 seconds, depending on, on weather and warmth conditions, and then wipe it off. I mean, it, it, there really isn't a great amount to, to uh, applying 3CS at all. Durability wise, I found in, in long-term, two year long testing on, on the Caddy, that it lasted a lot longer than you think it's gonna do. Now, Garage Therapy claimed five months. Uh, I got kind of double that. Um, now, granted, that was topped with Sigma and their quick detailer, um, but yeah, it, it it outlasts what Garage Therapy say it does. For me, it may not for you, depends how you use your car, of course. Um, but yeah, it's very hydrophobic. Uh, also, unlike the can coat, it doesn't go off. Uh, I mean, this, this bottle here, actually this is one of the newer ones I've got, but uh, I had a bottle prior to this that had been open for three years, must have been nearly three years, uh, and it was still absolutely fine. You will get a little bit of degradation. I've spoken to Maz at Garage Therapy about this, and he agrees, you know, it, it, but it's tiny. It's tiny, tiny degradation over a long shelf life, uh, but it will last on the shelf. So how would I use Cancoat and 3CS? Well, to me, Cancoat screams daily driver. It's a slightly it's minimal in terms of how much more durable it is in 3CS, as I've, I've just explained. But in theory, if you were to top can coat with the Gion system, it would last up to, to, to a year. Um, I would definitely use it on a daily driver, uh, personally, if I wanted to really go the Gion route. I've got this tin, so I will use this tin up. Um, I don't throw anything away, I'm, I'm too tight to do that. Uh, but I've got to be honest, I would probably end up using 3CS on my daily driver going forward just because it lasts almost as long, it's a lot cheaper and it doesn't go off. So I guess my recommendation to you is if you want to use Gion, you want to use a light ceramic, absolutely go with can coat. It is a fantastic product and it will do a great job for you. I'm a big fan, genuinely. But for me, 
Uh, I don't do thousands of miles every week. I love detailing my car, so I will constantly top it up. Uh, I like the application process on 3CS more. So for me, I would use garage therapy on both my daily driver and my show car. Definitely, if you have a Garage Queen, I would recommend 3CS because the finish it gives is phenomenal. And top it with Sigma, it's spot on. So uh, yeah, I guess there's a recommendation in there somewhere. Uh, it depends, as, as with all, all, all kind of product reviews online, I would, I would always take them with a little pinch of salt because what works for me as the person stood here talking to the camera may not work for you because your usage of your car is very individual to you and the conditions it's out in and the wash regime and everything is down to you and it will be different to my regime and my usage. So I can only report as I find and hopefully by that's what I've done today. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So stick with me, more to come. Now in the coming weeks, uh, I'm gonna be putting the Garage Therapy Chimera ceramic on the caddy as part of the spring uh, caddy detail. And the claimed uh, durability for that is around 12 months. So I guess that will be quite an interesting comparison with can coat. And obviously I've still got that bottle of can coat that you've seen to put onto the Audi daily driver. So both of those will be coming to the channel. Uh, what I should say with Gion and Garage Therapy, you can't go wrong with either. They're, they're both really strong brands. Uh, you've just got to choose what's right for you for your usage, for your um, requirements. And uh, yeah, you can't really go wrong with either. Both brands give really good backup as well. The, the guys at Garage Therapy are really, really helpful, as are, to be fair, the guys at Gion UK over at Clean Your Car. So um, definitely try them out. But hopefully this, this video has hopefully um, helped clarify how something may or may not work for you better than something else. Um, I, I don't know, uh, only you can be the judge of that. I will continue to use lots of other products. I will continue to bring lots of reviews to the channel. Um, so yeah, things like Built Hamber, Autogland, Sonax, Shoal, they all have a place in the detailing armory. But for some reason, I keep going back to Garage Therapy and Gion. Uh, they're both really quality brands. Uh, so anyway, that's enough from me. I'll let you get on with your day. Take care, stay safe, and speak soon. Bye for now.